Today I'm going to show you how to make a, it could be used, I'm going to use it as a Christmas ornament, but it could also be used as a decoration in a wreath or wherever you'd like to put it. It is made out of a cookie cutter. So to get started today, you need a cookie cutter. And what inspired this is after Christmas, uh, if you go in your craft stores, I found these on clearance for a little bit of nothing. They were like 75% off. So I bought uh, several different ones um, that I'm gonna do crafts with. So a cookie cutter, a piece of cardstock, big enough to cover your cookie cutter, some thick, fabric ribbon. I'm using this with glitter. It needs to be thick, not thin, because we're going to be gluing on this. And if it's too thin, the glue comes through and makes your ribbon look strange. Some beads. I chose to do a dark green, a light green, and a white. And these beads I ordered off of Amazon, and you'll notice there's no holes in them. So they're just for decorating purposes. So the nice thing is, is there's no holes showing. And then some smaller, I needed some smaller gold beads. So I bought that as well. And then I wanted, you don't have to, but I wanted to put a star on the top. So I got uh, pretty large stars also from Amazon and they fit very nicely right inside the top for the star. Um, you'll want some tacky glue hot glue and uh, fabric scissors and regular scissors. And that's all you need to get started. So the first thing you wanna do is put your cookie cutter down and with a pencil, you just wanna trace along the cutter and this will be the backing to your cookie cutter. So you just wanna trace it out and cut it out. Okay, so this is what it will look like. Your traced side, the pencil side, is the side that's going to go up in this case because this will be the back of your thing. Now, before we start hot gluing, I like to arrange my beads um, and have like the amount that I wanna use. Um, so I'm kind of randomly putting them in but I want to get a good combination of large and small and the different colors. So um, I'm just going to kind of fill in and see what I need. Make sure I have a good variety in here. Like I got a lot of the big of the other colors. I want to make sure I get enough of the different colors. And what you want to do is have a base of beads that covers the base of your um, of your ornament because you're going to have a base and then on top of it we're going to add some additional but you want enough that covers the um, base very well. And I'm not going to have these exact, but I just want to make sure I have a good variety of sizes and a good variety of colors. Okay, so the first step is you're going to glue your base to your cookie cutter. And I keep the crimped side on the outside and the sharp cutting side on the inside. So what you want to do is just take a little bit of hot glue and just run around your edges. And it doesn't matter if it's fancy or not because your beads are going to cover all that. So you just want to make sure it's secure. Like so. so now you're going to start filling in. I start at the top and I'm just going to put a bunch of hot glue in and then drop my beads in, trying to get a variety of sizes and colors. The only thing I want to point out is in the top, the star part, I'm going to put three small beads and then one large bead on top for my star. So that way it has something good to secure to. Other than that, it does not really matter how you put your beads in. So you just want to just put a bunch of hot glue in and then you're just going to drop your beads in and push them together. So they're nice and close 
like so. Okay, and then you just want to continue to do that as you work your way down. Have some large, have some small, have some different colors available. So you'll notice how I'm filling it in. I'm just working in small patches at a time and just filling all the way into the bottom. So this is what your base layer should look like. And then all you're going to do is add some um, more beads to the top, just a few here and there, some small and some large, just one at a time, um, not covering the whole thing, just pretty much what I try to do is uh, I glue now onto the bead and stick it down and just try to fill in little spots here and there. So if it's a uh, it's like a small bead. I might want a small bead right there. I'm just going to stick it down like so. And just do that. What I'm trying to do is fill some of the holes that you see. Like over here, there's a hole. So I'm just trying to fill some of those holes with the bead. So the top, I am going to put a large bead at the top because that's what you're going to secure your star to. So just make sure one of your large beads is right there because that is what you're going to put your star on with. I'm just going to put it right on the top on that bead like so. Okay, so my next step is to add the little tiny gold balls. Now with these, I am not using a hot glue gun because I don't want to burn my fingers. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the gold ball and then place it where I want to place it into the um, balls. Like so. And then that glue will dry, you won't see that. So you want to go ahead and do that throughout. So your next step is to cut a piece of ribbon. Now you can use uh, that decorative tape would also work well. I didn't have that available. I may um, in the future order some tape because the tape would be much easier and less time consuming. But here I'm doing a ribbon. So I'm gonna cut off some extra ribbon. And basically I'm going to start at the base and work my way up using tacky glue. And this is gonna require some patience and some time and just work with little bits at a time. So the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure the base. So I wanna make sure my ribbon is even at the top so I know where the center is. So I have even amounts of ribbon on both sides. And I'm just gonna put some tacky glue on my ribbon, like so. And that's why it's important to have a thick ribbon. And I'm placing the ribbon right in the center of my cookie cutter. And as you see, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to hold this in place. And that's why you only wanna do a little bit at a time and you're just gonna hold it in place like so until the glue dries. It just requires some patience. It's not very difficult to do, but you just don't wanna move on to the next step until this is dry and make sure that all your corners are tight. So once this dries, then you're gonna add a little bit more glue on this side and a little bit more glue on this side and then hold it to the next point and you're just gonna work your way up the tree until it's dry. And then once it's dry, it's gonna look like this. So if you take your time, it'll look really nice. And then once I got to the top, I didn't glue around the star. I just basically knotted it into a bow at the very top. And then you can add a hook to this if you want, or like I said, if you want it just as a decoration, or to put in a wreath or something would also look cute. 
So however you choose to use this decoration, I think it's really cute and a uh, fun way to decorate for the Christmas holiday. So if this is your first time watching, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you had any clever ways of using this tree, um, put a comment in and I'll be sure to share that with other people. And thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.